Is your Roku TV getting stuck on its bouncing logo screen? Fret not, we know just what you need to do to get this fixed. Stick around till the end and check out all the steps that I mentioned in this video to get your Roku up and running in no time. A stable power supply is a must for streaming devices and Roku is no exception. In the absence of a proper power supply, your Roku will no longer function properly and can show issues such as this. The most common mistake that users tend to do is to power their Roku external media player directly from their TV. Now, even though powering your Roku from your TV is viable, the power supply may not be adequate and can lead to power issues. So, it's always best to power your Roku device using an external power outlet. While you're at it, you should also check the condition of your power supply, which includes the cables and the power adapter that you're using. Wear and tear on the cable and rusty portents can all mess up with the power supply. If you notice any such deformities with your cable, replace them as soon as possible with a similar accessory from a reputed brand. Now, if this issue pops up, even after plugging your router to an external power outlet, you'll need to check for issues with that particular outlet. And the best way to do that is to simply plug in your Roku to a different power outlet. Now, the quickest and easiest way to resolve any power related issues with your Roku is to simply refresh its internal components. And the best way to do that is to power cycle your device. A power cycle depletes all the charges within the internal components of your Roku and freshly charges them from scratch, which can get rid of any hardware bugs that might have been the root cause behind your Roku doing this. To power cycle your Roku, unplug the power cable and all other cables including the HDMI cable and leave it to rest for a minute. Then plug back in the cables and turn on the device. A stable internet connection is yet another vital component when it comes to the functioning of your Roku device. Issues with the network can trigger a whole host of issues and getting stuck on the loading screen can be one such issue. You can check the status of your network by connecting a different device to your network like your phone and try navigating to a YouTube channel and clicking on the red subscribe button to see if it makes a difference. If you're facing issues surfing the internet using your phone as well, then you can most definitely be sure that your network is at fault here. Power cycling your internet router can potentially get rid of such issues. Simply unplug your router from its power supply and plug it back in after a minute. Another aspect that can cause issues with your Roku is if there is interference from any other wireless devices that are in its vicinity. Gaming consoles, smart home devices and other wirelessly communicating devices can potentially cause interference which can affect the performance of your Roku. I have personally noticed interference when my Nintendo Switch is near my Roku, so if you have such wirelessly communicating devices, try relocating them away from your Roku. Now, if you can't get your Roku past its loading screen, even after following all the steps that I mentioned so far, consider resetting your Roku to its factory defaults. A factory reset will revert all system settings and user data from the device, including any bugs and errors that might have been the root cause behind your Roku stuck on its loading screen. All Roku devices, new or old, come with a physical reset button that allows you to trigger a factory reset without navigating into the Roku UI. Current Roku devices come with an actual reset button while the older devices feature a pinhole style reset button. To trigger that, you'll have to use a paper clip or a similar prop to press the button. Either way, press and hold the button for about 10 to 20 seconds or until the device turns off. The LED indicator on your device should start to blink once the reset is underway or complete. Once your Roku is reset, configure it like new and your issues should be resolved. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding fixing a Roku that's stuck on its logo screen. If you found this video useful, do comment your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Roku content like this.